Hello friends! I'm Carol, aka Codarea. I'm a freelance illustrator and character designer, and I've been working in the last decade in the European animation industry. And here is my hot channel. So today I wanted to show you how I did this piece, this fan art of the five Sailor Scouts in my style or in a more Western style. And meanwhile, I will talk to you about the impact that Sailor Moon had on me as a nerd and as an artist. So sharpen your pencils, grab your stylus and let's draw. So let's talk a little bit about this piece before jumping in, shall we? So in the first place I drew every Sailor Scout portrait in my sketchbook. That's what you can see in the beginning of this video. Uh, I was in a kind of funk with my art at that time and I kept on drawing in my sketchbook but nothing was really satisfying. Most of the time, when I'm in that mood, I go to some artists that I like and reproduce some of their pieces, intending to get how they do things, how they handle proportions, how they draw eyes or lips or hands. And for this one, I went to Dave Character Art on Instagram. Uh, maybe you know him already, but uh, if you don't, I will put a link into the description so you can go to see his hard work. I was very drawn by cute girls, very stylized, very cartoony, and this was a flavor that I wanted to explore. So I drew Usagi first and then the four other ones. So there was Emi, Rei, Makoto and Mako. I gathered them on an A4 sheet, trying to find the best composition of the five girls with Usagi in the middle. I mainly used Clip Studio Paint for making this piece with a little touch-up at the end with Photoshop. I really enjoy the pencil tool in Clip Studio Paint and painting tools as well, but I'm still figuring out what paintbrush I can use and, and I like to use with my workflow because I'm very used to my Photoshop brushes. I've been told that we can import Photoshop brushes into CSP, but I never tried and this is a story for another time. But uh, if you want me to explain furthermore my painting workflow, you can leave me a comment down below. Or if you want me to come up to some specific topic, just let me know in the comment sections. Now let's talk about Sailor Moon. You may all already know the story of those magical girls from the 90s. Sailor Moon or Bishoujo Senshi Sailor Moon is a shoujo manga drawn by Naoko Takeuchi and released in Japan between 1991 and 1997. It has also been adapted into anime series, movies, even drama with real actors with wigs and plushes, you know, Luna's plushes, <laughs> but never mind. It recently knew a reboot called Sailor Moon Crystal in, in 2014. The series follows the adventures of a schoolgirl named Usagi Tsukino as she transforms into a legendary warrior, Sailor Moon. She's searching for a magical artifact, the legendary Silver Crystal, and she leads a diverse group of comrades the Sailor Soldiers, as they are called, as they battle against villains to prevent the theft of the Silver Crystal and the destruction of the Solar System. I discovered Sailor Moon for the first time when the anime aired on French television in 1993-1994. It was also the first manga I ever, I ever bought back in 1995 or 1996. At that time, Sailor Moon and Dragon Ball Z were the only manga you can find on bookstore shelves and maybe Akira too, but it was the beginning of the manga era. The story of a gang of girls fighting evil immediately resonated in me and I followed their adventures assiduously every Wednesday. I even recorded every episode I could on VHS. It was also one of my first fan arts ever. Let me tell you a little anecdote. When I drew my first Sailor Moon fan art, I hadn't noticed that every Sailor Scout had different style of shoes. 
Of course, I had seen Sailor Moon's boots, so I assumed that they all had the same boots with their respective color. Don't worry, I saw my mistake, but unfortunately it was too late. I drew the Sailor Gang a few times now. This is my third attempt, well, fourth attempt if you count the first one with the wrong boots. The first was drawn around 2000, the second around 2014, and this one in 2020. I find it's a good way to measure the journey you've been through, and as an artist, that you came from a long way. Now I'll let you with the rest of this uh, video, this time lapse, and if you have any question, please let me a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it.
final piece that you can see on my Instagram and I posted there some close-up of this piece on each sailor skirt. So please consider giving this video a thumbs up, it really helps with the algorithm. And please rock my bell down there or down there, I don't remember. It's there, I guess. That's why you'll be informed when the next video will be up. You can of course follow me on Facebook, Instagram and even on Twitch where I live streams frequently. So see you next time in the next video and until that, take care and wash your hands. Carol out!